Hi, I'm Linda Descano, President and CEO of Cities Women & Company. If the thought of tax time sends your stress level skyrocketing, well, you're not alone. Many readers have shared with me that they think about taxes almost like a day of reckoning, you know, an unpleasant thing that they're forced to do to look at what they've earned, what they've spent, and how much they owe, and not just to Uncle Sam. But it doesn't have to be that way. If you keep up with your finances throughout the year, you can make preparing for your taxes a lot simpler and a lot less painful. First, take small steps. You don't have to sort through a full year's worth of paperwork in one afternoon. Rather, block one hour units of time over the course of a few weeks or a month to sort through the receipts and the statements that have piled up all year. The more you divide and conquer, the more manageable the process will be. Next, go digital. Make it easier to keep tabs on what you're doing with your hard-earned cash by using online financial tools and apps that can help you organize your accounts, categorize your spending, and keep tabs on your budget. There are even some apps that will let you scan your receipts so you can organize them electronically, and that will help cut down on the paperwork you have to go through next year. Lastly, plan ahead. Don't let the weeks leading up to April 15th be the only time that you think about your taxes. Compare what you're withholding in taxes mid-year so you don't find out in December that you're in the 25% tax bracket, but you've only been withholding 15% of your income. And if you're facing a major life change, marriage, divorce, or parenthood, you'll want to find out as soon as possible how that may affect your tax situation. And if you have questions, seek out the guidance of a tax professional or an accountant. And remember, a little financial foresight can go a long way in helping take the stress out of tax season. For more financial tips from Cities Women & Company, check out my weekly column on manila.com.